How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today we have UFC Fight Night in Ganu versus Rumble Johnson 2. A big heavyweight main event here today. Also got Tony Ferguson RIP versus Ben Askren in the welterweight division. It should be a good card overall. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our rankings here uh, as of the last fight card that we just have at light heavyweight you can see chris weidman into the top 10 anthony smith down to 14. at middleweight robert whitaker is backed after he uh, has served his suspension and he already has a fight booked in australia at welterweight habib moving up to number 15 after a win over anthony rocco martin back into the top 15 habib Nurmagomedov. Nothing at super lightweight or lightweight. It's at featherweight, a big jump. Brian Ortega down to number 11. Pavel Vitruk up to number 4. After beating at number 9, Brian Ortega, a big jump up. And he'll probably be fighting someone within the top 10 uh, pretty soon. He's maybe a couple wins away from a title shot, honestly. Uh, Lingo and Hooper is probably next for that, though. At Bantamweight, Piotr Young up to that number two spot. Thomas Almeida is next for the title, but I would imagine that Piotr Jan will probably get a title shot soon enough. Kakeru Fuma down to number 10. Flyweight, Rio Hada up to number 16 after knocking out, uh, I mean, after knocking out Mighty Mouse. Incredible. Uh, we have new featherweight in Jalea Morrill. We just signed the Bellator featherweight champion. Um, so a, a nice addition to the featherweight division. Always nice to see, you know, new featherweights coming into the division. Want to get that division as full as possible. At Bantamweight, we have Macedo down to number eight and Norma Dumont up to number three. Um, she is now on a three-fight winning streak, and she is maybe one win away from a title shot herself. Nothing going on at flyweight and at strawweight. Stamp Fairtex all the way up to number two. She is now on a two-fight winning streak, probably one win away from another title shot at Rose Namajunas. Currently, the number one contender is Mei Rong Ho, despite her being at number four currently. And that brings us to today. Uh, like I mentioned, our next fight card after this is going to be UFC Fight Night Condit versus Woodley. Appreciate you guys, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. Links are down in the description for my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that good stuff. I also have a Patreon if you guys want to support me that way. A uh, big shout out to my newest Patreon in Caitlin. Um, my first page patron, as a matter of fact. Um, you can support me a number of ways. Patreon, uh, Patreon link is down in the description below. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's get into it. UFC Fight Night and Ganu versus Johnson 2. Show is taking place in Virginia. Let's get it going. Starting, of course, with our prelims, Kyle Dock is taking on Christian Payne Edwards. I believe this is, uh, no, not, Fabian Edwards is Leon Edwards' brother. Christian Edwards is just a really good prospect and a split decision win he gets against Kyle Dockus. Edwards, ranked in the light heavyweight division, surely only going to get better. Koji Takeda taking on Ferez Ziam in the 155 division and it is Ziam getting the win here today the Frenchman with a big win here today Kenny Jordan versus Frank the Crank Camacho at 155 and it's Kenny Jordan getting the unanimous decision here today Amir Khan Adayev taking on Christos Giagos also at 155 and it's Giagos with the first round TKO getting himself a hundred thousand dollars in the process you love to see it Alex Morono taking on Raymond Magomedaliev, also in 155, 175 uh, for them. And it's Alex Morono with the split decision. He is now, he's won three out of his last four, I was going to say. Moving right along, we have Henrique Shigamoto taking on Antonio Braga Neto. I believe that is in the middleweight division. As I'm recording this, uh, this past weekend, I went to the UFC 274 pay-per-view. I did not get any footage or anything like that like I thought I would have. I got too caught up in the moment, but hey, can you blame me? It's a UFC pay-per-view. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Antonio Braga and Neto, a huge favorite in this one, and he does get the heel hook submission in round number two. Fantastic fight. You love to see it. And uh, wow, he was completely overmatched, Henrique. 
He wants to fight Norbert Noveni Jr. next. Dennis Goltsov taking on Ruslan Magomedov in the heavyweight division. And it's Magomedov getting the win. TKO in round number two. And another fantastic fight. Virna Jandaroba taking on Xiaonan Yan in the straw weight division. And it is Yan getting the knockout win over Jandaroba. Just 30 seconds into round number one. A uh, little win streak for her after losing four straight Jaonan Yan. Gunnar Nelson taking on Jaleel Willis now in a prelim. A very even fight between these two, veteran of the Octagon and Gunnar Nelson. But it's Jaleel Willis getting the unanimous decision here today. The 20th win of his career and the first here in the UFC for him. Armand Sarukian taking on Christian Lee. Battle of the Prospects here, 27 and 25 years old at 155. And it's Christian Lee getting the unanimous decision victory here today. He's 8-1 now in the UFC. Moving right along, Andrea KGB Lee taking on JoJo Calderwood in our first main card fight of the night. KJB, or KGB 14 and 8, a huge betting favorite against JoJo Calderwood. And it is KGB Lee getting the TKO win in round number two in a great fight. She might move up the rankings just a little bit after that. Aljamain Funk Master Sterling taking on Ray Borg in the Bantam weight division. Ray Borg, a big favorite here against Sterling despite not having a fight team. And it is Ray Borg getting the TKO win over Aljamain Sterling in a very poor fight. Number eight in the division, a big bounce back win for him. Philip DeFries taking on Curtis Razor Blades in our heavyweight contest here. DeFries at 265, number four in the division. He's on three straight wins, including both men in the main event. He takes on Curtis Razor Blades, number 12 in the division, uh, coming off a submission loss to Kane Velasquez. And it is Philip DeFries getting the TKO win over Curtis Razor Blades in round number two. And I mean, this guy should be fighting for a title next, Philip DeFries. Sinead Kavanaugh taking on Macy Chieson in the featherweight division. Kavanaugh 14 and 6, Chieson 14 and 5. And it is Macy Chieson getting a knockout in round number two over Sinead Kavanaugh. And Chieson now, that is two straight wins at featherweight. She might have a case for a title shot at Featherweight in her near, in, in her near future. Our co-main event, it is a big one. Tony El Kukui Ferguson taking on Funky Ben Askren. Askren coming off a win over Habib Nurmagomedov. On the other side, Tony Ferguson still getting it done. Coming off wins over Carlos Diego Fajeda and Santiago Ponzinibbio. It is our co-main event. Ferguson is the odds-on favorite, but it is Funky Ben Askren with the unanimous decision victory over Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And uh, everybody, give your prayers to Tony Ferguson. I really hated seeing him get knocked out like that at UFC 274. Um, ben Askren's calling Takashi Sato a, a coward. Okay, interesting. He might fight him next. 37-year-old uh, Francis Ngannou taking on 40-year-old Anthony Rumble Johnson in our main event. Rumble Johnson, 19-10 and 10 in the UFC. Coming off a win over Steve Mowry on the other side, you have Francis Ngannou, number 8 in the division. Coming off two straight losses, Philip DeFries and Cyril Gaon. It's our main event. Let's get it going. Jason Herzog is our referee for this main event. Johnson, a full 25 pounds, they said over Francis Ngannou. Interesting to see what, ha what happens here. A good right hand. Both guys not really in title contention at the Johnson lines. A powerful right hook. Ngannou falls, unloading with punches. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, a minute and a half into round number one, the referee stops the bout. Your winner by TKO is Anthony Rumble Johnson. Rumble with two straight big wins in a row. And that is incredible. Wow. Anthony Johnson, the winner in your main event. 6,000 in attendance in Virginia. No popularity changes because we are plenty popular already. We had two fantastic fights on the show. 
Um, let's give it to Magomedov and Goldsoft, but we'll give these two uh, bonuses for that fantastic fight as well. And let's see, any first round finish, we've got Rumble. And then we've got Xiaonan Yan, and we've got Christos Giagos, all getting $100,000. Nice little profit anyways. Highest paid fighters are Anthony Johnson, Tony Ferguson, Francis Ngannou, and Philip DeFries. Congratulations to all of them. Um, and with that said, appreciate you guys. Like I mentioned, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Can't wait to bring you more videos as we make our way towards UFC 302. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you have not done so already. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links are down in the description below. Um, you can become a, pat a patron of mine if you would like to. A uh, link to my Patreon is down in the description as well. Appreciate you guys and have a good one.